Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, guys. Guess what? Today we're going to cook something very unique. As you can see, we are slaughtering a goat, and I want to take you through, guys, how we are going to cook. Have you ever tasted blood? Yes, I just said blood. You heard me right. We are going to cook blood, guys, and yes, here is the goat right here. So my boys here are going to slaughter. Then straight we are going to go to the kitchen and we we'll see what to do with the blood, guys. So stay tuned. This I'm going to use for collecting the blood. So right here is our sauce, you can have a look, very fresh as you can see and very healthy by the way so let's go to the kitchen already. So this has things that we are going to add onto our blood guys so let me keep the blood set as we get the, these things into pieces before we get straight to the kitchen. It's like you can see the heart and the liver right in my hand. So we are going to add this onto the blood like I told you earlier on. Yeah, so let me first finish up helping my boys here before we can head to the kitchen and start off. So guys, it's time to clean the intestines as you can see and this right here is how we do it. You just push out the, <laughs> I don't want to mention it, the poo, -poo. <laughs> So that's what we are doing guys before we can put it in water and eventually clean it really neat. Guys, have you ever had the experience of doing what I'm doing? I mean, the organic way, not just buying from the supermarkets, packed and stuff like that. We get it fresh.
can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I hope you notice the difference. I even don't know. I even don't know how to. See. Is it plating or what? The same way you do on hair is the same way for us. We do it on the intestines eh? before we cut them into pieces. You know, if you only cut them like this, it's too too tiny and too slim that you'll need a lot of pieces out of this. But when you do them like this, it makes it a little sizable. I hope you notice this. Yeah, the difference. So it's just to make it a little sizable, a little bit sizable, so that it's easy to even eat it or even cook it. I mean, you can look at this. I mean, well, it even looks neat, doesn't it? <laughs> so guys, do you, do you also do this when um, you're, you're slaughtering your goats, your animals or stuff like that? But we only do this on goats, by the way, with cows, the intestines are already big enough, so we don't do it like this only on goat's intestines. So let me know in the comment section, guys, if you do this or if you have ever had the experience of doing this, yeah? As you can see, I'm then cutting them into pieces. So right here has the offals, the heart, and even the liver. And remember, I kept the blood, so let's hit the kitchen already, guys.